It gives me a great pleasure and honor to be here with you today. Thank you so much, Refugees International, for allowing me the opportunity to share my music and story with you all tonight. I was one of those young people in Syria whose dreams were vanished by the ongoing war. In 2012, the war escalated in Aleppo and the city started to mourn its people day after day. We frequently woke up on the massive sound of explosions. Without electricity or power, I decided to hide in internet cafes to send my application to different programs and schools in the US and Europe. I was struggling in a darkness of a ruined city, running under bombs falling everywhere to find any opportunity of survival. Six months later, a miraculous email arrived from Monmouth College in Illinois, offering me a full tuition scholarship in music performance. Aleppo was besieged by the time I received my visa to travel. All the roads from and to Aleppo were closed except for a very dangerous gravel side road. My mother and I went to that area where private buses gathered to pick up passengers, but it would be at our own risk as these buses are not affiliated with any company. I had to say yes because my flight ticket had already been booked from Beirut to Florida and I did not know if I would ever get a second chance. That bus trip took us 17 hours. Normal days, it's not more than five or six. Over than 50 checkpoints of soldiers along the way. At many of them, they thought my violin case was a gun, and I have to prove it was not. They would make me to open the violin case, pick up the violin, and inspect it. The bus driver got lost in an area where I could not see anything apart from destroyed building. Couple of days after I arrived to the US, I found out that three buses had been completely bombed trying to take the same route. And people I know, including my doctor from Aleppo, were killed. It turned out that the road had become target for snipers. My violin and I made it safely to the US though. Unable to return back home, I was granted asylum and permanent residency in the US. I was humbled to be honored at the White House as champion of change for world refugees by President Obama. And I feel this is a huge responsibility as I would like to be an ambassador for my country, Syria, in the US. And conversely, represent all the great values I learned here worldwide. Today, I consider myself as not just a Syrian citizen, but also a new loyal and devoted young American woman. Although I found love and support here, it's still very painful to realize that your home is not home anymore, that some of your friends died while trying to fight for their lives, and some others are also refugees at various many countries. No parents would risk the lives of their own children in order to cross the Mediterranean unless the water is safer than their own land. No one would wish to leave everything behind and start all over from the scratch in a foreign country. One of the worst things that could happen to us is to end up as a stranger and vulnerable. To be a refugee is to master being resilient, rebellious, courageous, fearless, and always willing to compromise. One of the many beautiful things about refugees 
is that they are so determined and driven to be successful, to be productive and proactive. They work day and night to not just survive, but thrive at their new haven. Over than 13 million Syrians are displaced now. But we are not that number. Each one of us carries a story, memories, relatives, and parents. Music plays a great role in humanizing numbers. For me, it's a way to sing my home and take you on a journey to see my city and admire its beauty. When you lose your home, music is sometimes all what is left to tell the story of that suffering country and its people. Surely, music is not going to feed a child or build a roof to a displaced person, but it can inspire people and change makers to not just sit waiting, to do something. I hope music will one day help healing the pain our world has felt and create peace platform to all of us. I would like to perform Meditation from Thais by the French composer Massenet, and I will conclude with a Middle Eastern folk dance, Longa Shahinaz. I hope you will enjoy this performance. Thank you.
Thank you. 